everything's good to go. We'll see if this is a uh, quick subdued round of GeoGuessr for your Wednesday. Um, I gotta adjust some things. We're just doing a diverse world today. Nothing too crazy other than what we'll see doing this. Um, this looks to be Southeast Asia. I don't know where exactly, but I'm going to say down here maybe. Could be Philippines as well. I uh, we don't know. We have a gentleman drinking a nice tea by the looks of it. A market of sorts with a... Wait, I want to see. What are we selling? Empty bottles of Coca-Cola filled with... I'm going to guess gas. Yeah, this looks like a gas station of sorts. I wonder how much of a pain that is to uh, get all that stuff here. I mean, I'm sure those big... Nope. Well, I think we've uh, figured out where. Now it's just a matter of finding specifics. I'm going to say we're in... We're, we're down here. be cool if we're actually off this right here but I don't think we are um yeah how's your day I don't know yet for me it's still a bit early I got a doctor's appointment later a little bit of time between now and when it actually starts so I felt now nah, squeeze this in efficient use of time although I was a bit worried yesterday morning when my computer just decided to black screen and kind of just shut down, but it seemed odd to me. And I just immediately linked it back to all the fan issues that I had. So I was thinking, oh, well, clearly what's happening here is uh, one of my fans isn't working anymore because the fan making noise a lot, then it kind of stopped. I was like, oh, I guess it fixed itself. And then when this happened, I'm like, oh, no, it didn't fix itself. The fan just died. And it apparently was a very important fan because my PC just black screened. So, which led to uh, worry and concern above all else. Um, letting the computer sit for a bit, turned it back on. And then a few... Maybe like a minute after it turned on, I'm like, okay, let me take my light and look at all the fans in my computer. So I happened to check all the fans. Okay, they look to be all on. The CPU fans on. The front fans, the side fans, the top fans are all on. And then I look to see my power supply. And I'm like, oh, that fan's not on. That's bad. Hmm. Well, this computer's about two years old. Maybe my... uh. Power supply, fine. power supply finally died, which sucks. Let me, uh, let me take a look. So I went and <clears throat> Googled a specific model, and it doesn't look like it actually is sold anymore. So I'm like, great, this is fantastic. Um, is there a road actually over here? It doesn't look it. Maybe it's this. I mean, I doubt it. Yeah, I'm just going to say over here, but I'm sure it's not. I need to cough. Give me a moment. Okay, we're back on. All right, I'm gonna make my guess now. Well, we're not that far away. So reading, okay, fan stopped working on uh, power supply, and went reading a little bit longer, and put the model of it in. And they're saying like, oh well, fan only turns on when it needs to. It doesn't automatically turn on all the time. So I'm like, oh. Potentially, this is uh, this is probably Australia again. Yeah, if not, it's it's this quadrant E or E. So hopefully, I can narrow it down. I'm feeling this is probably more more Australia. Yeah. So it basically led me to basically um just stare at my computer, 
retest it every now and then because the fan eventually did turn back on. So I'm like, oh, that seems to have worked. But I'm like overly concerned in this tenuous situation of just like, is it going to do it again? Was that just like a one-time fluke? Is this just a sign of what's to come? I, I don't know. Like, oh, maybe I should. Is this, what what's on this horse? It's a cute little quilt. It's a horsey quilt. Nice. Apparently it must be morning here and it's a little cold. Uh, that's probably going to tell me where we are. I mean, it's Mitsubishi Outlander. The sun's hitting the side of this thing, making it difficult to see what that says. Is it for sale? I think it is. Let me see what's on that car. Give me... Nope, the sun's hitting it in such a way. I can't make it out. So that whole time I'm like, well, looks like I might be out with a PC for a while. Well, what am I going to do in the meantime? But maybe it's a thing to start considering. I don't know. It's about two years old. Evo was supposed to uh, record a, uh, oh, we're in Tasmania. Beaconfield Depot. Are we here? I'm going to put us, like, here. Maybe, maybe it's, unless, excuse me, it's not. Because the only time I've actually seen a Tasmanian one, it was an extremely terrible resolution uh, uh, location through some uh, <coughs> National Forest type thing. Oh, we do have a sign. Flowery Goalie and Winkly. <laughs> C717. Maybe we are. 717. We down here? Let's, uh, Winkly and Flowery Gully. Eight. 714. I think we're in here. 717. Now we gotta try to find Flowery Gully and Winkly. Where are we, Winkly? I don't see you. Winkly. Hmm. I think we're on the West Tamar Highway and we're like here. Maybe. If not here, we're like down here outside of Exeter. Or we could be here, but I think I think I got a pretty good location. Feeling pretty confident about that one. I'm gonna go ahead and make my guess now. Ooh, very close. Oh yes, the boarding kennels. Maybe I should have looked a little harder. Good start so far. This feels Coda well this probably tells me exactly where we are, but I don't know where. I mean we're Doing a bit of a Southeast Asia, Australia locations this time. Interesting. Well, okay, let's see. Did it say? Yeah, it's Kota, Kota Gung. I don't know where Kota Gung is, so this is going to be a bit of a problem. Hmm. Maybe there's a sign. There is a sign. Uh, sign's gone. Ah, well, this isn't, this doesn't help me. Terabaya, I don't know where Terabaya is. Hmm. Okay. Let's just continue. And maybe find, hmm. Hmm. I'm looking for, well, there's dolphins. Uh, it's, uh, I believe, a Muslim country, which could be uh, Indonesia. I believe, wait, Malaysia? I think that is two. What do we got? We need to sell hijabs here. Okay. Doesn't help me. I do see a flag. Yeah, okay, we're in we're in a 
Indonesia. Now the problem is Indonesia is huge. I don't know if I'm going to find like specifically we are. This is a big just sign of nothing. And if a wind hit that thing, just fly right over. Um, Dilarong, is that the name of this place? Let's see what this says. F11 Pro. I don't know what phone that is. We've got the Apple Oppo store. Not Apple. The Oppo. Hmm. Oh, Philip Morris. Bold. Looks like they're doing the Johnny Walker knockoff, even though they sell um cigarettes. Well, Philip Morris owns a lot of stuff. Or is it Kraft owns Philip Morris? No, I think Philip Morris owns Kraft is one of their things. They they're they're a big company. Selfie expert and leader. That's a thing to be, I guess, proud of. I don't know. I gotta name a place here. I don't know if I'm gonna find it here. It this is a pretty well developed um city town thing, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if in thirty seconds I'm gonna find like specifically where we are. But I'm gonna try. What do we got here? See, do I see a Lampung? We'll do this a bit and kind of look. Tongamus? I'm going to say we're in Malang and I have no idea. Tongamus. Um, Lampung Province. I'm assuming that's that. Or Tahun. Okay, we do have. In seven seconds, going to find Lampung. Lampung, aha. Uh ah, -huh. uh, I got. We were right next to Kota Agung. How did I not know that? Really good for Indonesia actually labeling their provinces an easy, like, uh, way of finding it. Whereas everyone else, I'm trying to find your, uh, your town name or your province, county, and it's impossible to find. So this is Claudio, so this makes me feel that this is maybe Italy, as I've got my TV likes to do this sometimes, my monitor, it's black screened, and slowly coming back online, thank you. That one was super long, usually they don't take this long, if, if you couldn't tell, I had a little feeling in the pit of my stomach the second my monitor went black. I'm like, oh god, what's happening? Is it, is it happening? Um, I feel I'm getting myself, yeah, in a back alley here. I don't want that. I want to maybe take a look at this. Hmm. I don't know what this is. I need to get out of this like little industrial spot I'm gonna take. I think I'm kinda just trapped in here. Yeah, I think I think I gotta go back that other way. What's this sign say? A carp carpinetto and corn cornholio. Okay. Let's go this way. Get this like little side dirt road. This feels Italy, but the wording at least, but I don't know. This feels Eastern European to me. Now this has got to be. Unless this is like a Italian-speaking Albania, I think we're very much here in uh, Italy. Unless Montenegro or Montenegro speaks like Italian, but I'm sure they don't. Let's get out on the road here. Look for some intersections. We have a roundabout, very tiny roundabout. Yeah, this is this has got to be Italy. Oh wait, I want to see that truck. 
real quick. Ristorones. I did see another sign up here that I'm going to look back on. The Autostrad, Ver Vercelli, and Cosada Biella. Hmm. The Autostrad. It's not saying, I don't know what the Autostrad is, but I'm just going to click like here. Maybe I can uh, find some more information getting through this town. With like a road number or something. Come on. Uh, I got to get out of the town here. What way am I going to go? Ooh, maybe this way. Uh, A26. It's A26 down here. Yes. Okay. So we're on this, I believe. Biela and Arona. Looking for, there's Avola. I don't know if I'm going to find it in 10 seconds, but I'm going to try. If it's not here, would it be? No, they've got. Oh, fuck. I was fucking way off. I mean, I got the country right, but that's it. Hmm. Okay, so. Hmm. Oh, Kuwait. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I would have got this one. Where are you, Kuwait? You know, Kuwait's up here, you you dummy. I'm guessing we're in Kuwait City. I don't know how much else of the uh, country we actually have. Um, uh, uh, Geoguessered, or Google Mapped, I should say. But we're not on a car. So I want to see some of this. What was this? Mazat? It said something fast food. Hold on, I gotta sneeze. Sorry. What fast? Oh, Lebanese fast food. Okay, so I see a Lebanese food place, but it said Kuwait Bank, so I'm 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 still sticking with this being Kuwait and not Lebanon. Hmm. I mean they do English. Yeah, I don't know. I've never been to Kuwait, although there is a flag here. Uh, hmm. Hmm. It's not unfurling enough. Okay, I almost thought that could have been like the, the Jordidian flag for some reason. I don't know the Kuwaiti flag. So I'm hoping that I got lucky. So now we have the Beirut Marathon. Hmm. Now I'm thinking we ain't there. We're in uh, Lebanon instead. Lebanese has a lot of English everywhere. I mean, it could. But I kind of find it hard to believe that the Kuwait Bank would Adver like Kuwait City would advertise a Be Beirut City Marathon. So I'm feeling a little bit more confident in this one. Yeah, Bank of Beirut. Hmm. Well, you're learning more about Lebanon. Maybe you knew more than I did with this. A lot of English. I mean, I, I think I remember at some point watching an Anthony Bourdain episode where they were in Lebanon at the time and it seemed interesting and worth going to see and I think that was also the same one when they were stuck in a hotel and they won some award for it I forget exactly it's 
an interesting episode. I mean, a lot of it's just them stuck. Oh, I'm, I'm stuck on this road. A lot of it was just them stuck uh, in a hotel until they got um, rushed out by, uh, what was it? Amphibious land vehicle. They took all the like Americans and other people who were there as tourists. They uh, shuttled them out of the country. It was pretty wild. But this place looks cool. I would definitely go and visit it. But hey, that was pretty good. I'm uh, at least a little impressed with my ability to get this one. <laughs> Oh, let me stretch. Anyway, that's going to do it for our Wednesday. Pretty low-key, pretty relaxed. Here we get myself ready for my appointment. And in the meantime, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, insights, thoughts, whatever at all, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will read them and get back to you. Along with like, favorite, comment, subscribing. Any suggestions for... Other games, ideas, anything at all, go ahead and put them in the comments there. I will read them and get back to you. Half the week's done. You're almost there. Me too. This is me kind of coaching myself at the same time. I'll see you in a few days. Goodbye.